Hello and welcome to Legends Board on the Hexed Encounter channel. Uh, for those of you who may be wondering why the name changed from the Legends Sport channel, I discovered that YouTube already had a channel named Legends Sport channel, and so I elected to go with something different. Um, Hexed Encountered is my uh, website where I do my blog, which has game reviews, and there are sports and war games both on there. So it just made sense to use Hexed Encountered as the name for the uh, for the YouTube channel as well. Um, I am currently in Sao Paulo, Brazil on a business trip and I'm here in my hotel room but uh, I'm going to do a video on the beautiful game which is a soccer game which I thought was kind of appropriate for uh, being in Brazil where football is very popular and uh, so it's from Lamborn Games uh, through Alzat Games uh, it's another Terry Goodchild game if you watched Blue Zone Hockey it works the same way it uses the 5-6 system where five and six on a die, on a six-sided die, die roll, a five or a six, triggers a either a half chance or a, or a full chance for scoring. So that is the basis of this game, as well as the Blue Zone hockey game that I did um, about a week or two ago, uh, and that is available here on the channel if you want to check that out as well. So uh, this is going to be the beautiful game, which is a soccer game or a football game as most of the rest of the world outside of the United States calls it. So without further ado, we're going to get right into the game. Okay, so we are going to, in honor of being in Brazil, I'm going to play uh, a game from the 1977 NASL North American Soccer League season between the New York Cosmos and the Minnesota Kicks. Uh, the reason being uh, the Cosmos had Pele on the team, and Pele is one of the uh, probably biggest legends of Brazilian football. So in honor of Pele, I'm going to use those these two teams. Um, the Kicks were a very good team and the Cosmos were actually pretty good as well. And as you can see, Pele was uh, one of the better, better players. He's got um, each number there from one to 10 represents 10% of the goals. So he's got 20% um, plus uh, Two sixth or third of the of, of another twenty percent, so that works out to about twenty seven percent of the goals for the Cosmos that season. Um, I'm just using uh, my obviously this is Excel you're looking at here, and uh, this video is is handheld. I'm using my cell phone to do this. I don't have any of my equipment or anything with me here in Brazil on my business trip, so this is going to be a somewhat uh, guerrilla style. Expect some fairly shaky camera work and the audio quality might not be great, but I'm going to give this a shot and if it works out okay, then, uh, I mean, if this hits YouTube, then you, I guess you can assume that I felt that it was worthwhile. So the game works, as I said, pretty much in the same, same vein as Blue Zone Hockey. So what you do is you look at the um, home and away attack and defense numbers and add them together. I'm going to play this as a neutral site game and the the, uh, the rules say when you do that to just use the home for both teams. So we added together the home attack of 2.31 for Minnesota with the Cosmos home defense of 0.92 to get 3.23 and we added the Cosmos home attack of 3.08 with the kicks home defense of 0.85 to get 3.93. And looking at our match card table here, if we go to the 3.23 uh, for Minnesota, we get seven and the 3.93 for New York yields an eight. So there'll be seven and eight cards. We will assign the uh, black to uh, Minnesota and the red to the Cosmos. So um, Typically, you would roll for the goalkeepers. I'm just going to start the, the two main keepers, Jeff Barnett from Minnesota and Shep Messing for New York. Um, again, we're assuming this is kind of like either a championship game or just an exhibition between, uh, between these two teams that were amongst the best teams in the NASL that year. So other, other tables we'll be using. We have a penalty table for what happens when we, uh, when we get a penalty. Um, and then there's also a rebound table. There are a couple of additional tables I am not using because I want to keep things fairly simple. There are ways to include uh, injuries and, um, you know, 
tracking disciplinary things with the players and so they can get red cards and mismatches and so on. So the game is very friendly as far as wanting to do like a full season replay or just doing one-off games. Um, the, it plays quick. Uh, obviously there isn't uh, usually a ton of scoring in soccer so it makes it a little bit fast, faster flowing than say the hockey game is where you have a little bit more going on and you have power plays and things like that. Um, if you do end up getting a red card, you add a couple of uh, match cards to the to the the team that doesn't the team you know the the opponent of the team that drew the red card. So just as in the hockey game, you have a half chance deck of six piles and a full chance deck also of six piles. Use a deck of regular playing cards um, to draw from, and I'm going to count out. Uh, seven cards for so that's red this is black I'll count out um, seven cards one two three four five six seven that's Minnesota's deck and then we get eight for New York one two three four five six seven eight okay and then we'll shuffle them together and um, that is how we, I should have done this before because it's hard for me to shuffle one-handed. So I am going to actually stop for a moment and shuffle this and then I'll pick this up here in a second. Okay, we're back and ready to go. So I've got a, a pad here where I'll keep, sc keep score up top and then I'll just list the goal scorers and the time of goal and so on. So I have some dice here. I actually don't have two different color uh, six-siders with me, so I'm going to use this as one six-sider, and I'm going to take this 12-sider, and I'm just going to divide it in half. Uh, so a one and a two would be a one, a three and a four would be a two, up to 11 and 12 being a six, obviously. So just dividing in half and rounding up if we get an odd number, basically. Um, or, yeah, well, if it's a one or a two, it's a one. So, uh, But regardless... Um, so the first thing we need to do is the play is triggered by rolling two dice, two six-sided dice, and then you have the, the trigger, the trigger die, which I'll use the six-sider for, and that determines if something happens. So if it's a five or a six, uh, a five is a half chance, which, which is a slightly lower chance of scoring, and a six is a full chance, which has a greater uh, chance of scoring. And this one would determine which of the six deck so if it was a half chance you could use one two three four five six so on same for a full chance over here one two three four five six okay so let's roll to get this started and we get a six and a nine so that would be a uh a six and five would be the deck we come over here and we take the top card off of the five deck flip it over and it says Route one ball, bad mistake by defender. Okay, so now we roll um, two six-siders again, add them together, and the result determines if it's a goal. So obviously if we roll a seven through a 12, that's gonna be a goal. Uh, but we first have to determine which team has the chance. And the way you do that is you count the number of cards off our die, so we have six. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna say one, two, three, four, five, and put that on the bottom, like that. And then flip this over and get the color. So it's red, so that means this is a Minnesota chance. Okay, so this is a Minnesota chance. Um, so we rolled our dice again, and we're gonna add them together. And we get a six and a five, which would be a three. So that's nine, so that's a goal. All right, so goal right away. So now we have to figure out who our scorers are. So to do that, we roll a 10-sided die and a, and a six-sided die. So we'll roll our 10 and our six. So we get a nine and a one. Okay, now we might not need the six, depending on what, what's going on here. Um, actually, in this case, we would. So we take our nine and we look up here at the kicks and we see that nine, one, two, three, four is Steve Litt. That's a goal for Steve Litt. So I'm going to write here, um, Minnesota Litt. And 
then we can figure out our um, timing. So for timing, what we do is you take the number of match cards for both teams, which is 15, and you, multi you divide that into the 45 minute half, so three. So we have three cards here and I flip the card and two. So that's two minutes. So you add two minutes to, um, to the time and you just say that the goal was scored in the second minute, basically, because um, we, we used one match card, so that would be the second minute of the half. So just do that and put it back underneath, and it's just gonna kind of rotate that way. So then we move on and we go back to rolling our two, two die here again. We got a four and an 11. Now, if you were playing with the what they call the layer three, then things can happen in four where you would actually pull, you would roll it, you would take this die roll and um, figure out, like it gives you what they call connecting commentary just to kind of tell what's going on in the game. So we're not gonna worry about that because I wanna keep it relatively simple. So we're going to, let me flip that over. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna put this out. One, two, three, and then you could look at this, and, but it really doesn't matter. Um, but it goes out because nothing happened. And we move on and roll again. And this process just continues to repeat. So we get a six and a three, so that's a 62. So again, we're gonna take five cards here. One, two, three, four, five. And then flip this guy over and it's black this time. So this will be a Cosmos chance. And so we're gonna look at the six, the, the full chance pile and flip the first the top card on pile number three and we have a uh, great move opens up defense so again if it's a seven through a 12 it's going to be a goal so we'll come back over here we we'll roll again and we got a five and a six so that's 11 so that's going to be a goal so now we got another goal and we have to ro uh, roll our 10 sider and our six sider and we get a zero, which is a 10, and a one. So now, um, oh, my computer went to sleep, great. All right, so on the Cosmo side, we're looking at 10 and one. So that would be Pele. So Pele scores a goal. So we write uh, New York. Pele, and then we do the same thing to determine the minute. So where we have, um, this is our third card. So we're gonna have um, something something after nine minutes. So three, so that's going to be uh, a 12, I guess. So minute 12, Pele scores, tie the game up at one. So it's one, one, and we just continue continue play here. And we have a four and a seven, so that's nothing, but we still have to do our cards. So one, two, three, put the fourth one out. Move on, put this out, okay. Well, again, we get a one and a six, a 12 is a six, so we just take one card and put it out. Move on again. Four and an eight, so again, that's nothing, but we gotta do our, we take three cards, put them on the bottom, take our top card, and put it out. And this, this process just keeps repeating, and then, oh man, this guy keeps rolling too much, too many sides. All right, so it was a five, so it's a five and a five, which turns out to be a three. So again, now this is a half chance, so I'm gonna do four cards to the bottom. Four cards to the bottom. And we're gonna take we're gonna take the next card and flip it. So it's black. That's another chance for the cosmos. And we're using it's a five, so that's a three. So that's the third pile here in our half chance pile. And we see that this says corner fisted away but falls to attacker on edge of area. So then you get you actually have a chance here to see a rebound, which we would have to resolve. Um, the only straight up goal would be if we get a 12. So we will roll our two die again, and we get a three and a two, which is a five. So, or 
three and a three, which becomes a two, and that's a five. So that's a shot charged down by defender. So they didn't score. Um, and we continue on. Let me put that out. We get a three and a five, basically. So that's just two cards out. Third card goes there. Two cards to the bottom, rather. Third card out. Keep going. Uh, three and a six, essentially. One, two, under, underneath, top one out, and we roll again, we get a six and a two, so that's one. So again, we go one, two, three, four, five, and this is the sixth one. So we flip that over, it's red, so this is a Minnesota chance, and it's a two, which becomes a one, so we're going to grab the first deck here and it says clever layoff leaves attacker in space 10 yards from goal okay same thing we have a chance for a rebound again and uh, a 7 to 12 would be a goal so let's put that there roll these again and that's a 5 so that's a 6 so a 6 on here it ends up being a rebound okay so we roll again on this rebound chart right here so I'm going to roll again with these two die. And we get a three and a three, which is a two. So that's a five. So five is attacker shoots. It should be shoots wildly over bar from eight yards with keeper helpless on ground. So no goal. No goal. Um, and we keep going. So we know we have five cards left here based on what happened last time. So we have a two and a nine, which is just gonna be one card to the bottom and one, one card out. Roll again, three and a 10, so two cards to the bottom, and one card out. So we're down to three cards now. And we have a two and a five, which again, we put one, one to the bottom, one out, down to two cards, six and 11, which is also a six in this case. So. Um, you would go one, two, and then keep going like back and forth. So I'm just going to flip it. It's a red. So we've got a red again and it's, and it's a six. So we come over here and we get hard hit. Whoops. We got two cards there. Hang on. Okay. Here we go. Break away attacker one-on-one -on -one with keeper. So again, a seven to 12 is going to be a goal. Roll out to die, and we get a one and a six, which is a seven, so that's a goal. Okay, so they get a goal. That's Minnesota scoring. Uh, fourteen times uh, fourteen. That's the fourteenth card, so that would be uh, thirty-nine plus whatever minutes we get from our die roll. Uh, but first, we have to roll the ten sider and the six sider. And we get a 56, so five for Minnesota. It is Ron Futcher, or Futcher. So we get Minnesota, Futcher. And I already know this is gonna be the ace. So that's one. Um, so that's one minute, so that would be 40. And we'll do our last play of the half here. And we get a four and a five, which becomes a three. So that is a uh, the end of the half. Okay, so that's the end of the half. And the first half, we have a two to one lead for Minnesota. Okay, we have goals by Lit and Futcher for Minnesota and Pele for the Cosmos. So we will now play the second half. Um, I actually need to stop because I have something I have to do. So we'll pick up the second half later. Okay, we are back for the second half. We're gonna start off with a dice roll. A one and a six, which becomes a three. So I'm gonna just put one card on the bottom. And continue. So that's a 22. So again, just take one card to the bottom. Oh wait, I needed to put a card out. 
I screwed that up. So we have one card out from the first play. We'll put one on the bottom and the second card out. And we just continue. And we get a three and a nine, which is a five. So that would be uh, 35, but that's still nothing. One, two, to the bottom. Same exact thing. All right, one, two, and one out. Uh, Thirty-six that time, so still nothing. One, two, and one out. Now, if you play the third layer, you actually can get some things with some other rolls. Uh, Twenty-five, so one. going on here in the uh, second half. It's going to be nothing. A one and a two. So I'm just going to put one out. And we get a one and a eight, which is a four. So another one out. This time we get something. We have a six and a nine, which becomes a five. So we do our five cards for the bottom. One, two, Three, four, five, and then we flip and we get a black. So this would be the Cosmos with a chance from pile number five, full chance. Clever play through the middle, okay? So a two to four is an offside, five to six is an attacker brought down from behind for a penalty. And 7 to 12 is a neat shot wide of keeper for a goal. So let's see what we get here. That would be a 2. So a 2 is offside and therefore nothing. So we will put this one out. We have 5 cards remaining in the half. So the Cosmos need to score. This is going to be a 2 to 1 Minnesota victory here. Well, we get another chance, so two sixes, it becomes a 63. So we know we have to do one, two, three, four, five, and then we actually flip the top one. And it's a, another shot for the Cosmos here, so uh, 63, so we go to the third deck. Near post header, two to five hits post rebound, six to nine headed into net goal. 10 to 12 headed in off bar, but goal disallowed for infringement. So this is an interesting one. So we have some, uh, we have some possibilities here. And we get a one and a four, which is a five. So five is two to five hits post rebound. Okay, so we're gonna roll on the rebound chart. And we get a four and a nine, which becomes a five. So that's a nine. And a nine is defender manages to scramble ball to safety. So no, no luck for the Cosmos there. Put this card out. We have four left in the half, or yeah, four, I believe. So a one and, a, and an eight, which becomes a four, is nothing. We just put one out. Four and nine, which would be a five, but that's still nothing, same one. Two, three, four, and then you would put this one out. And we're down to two cards now. And we have a, we're gonna have a half chance. Five and a three becomes a, a five, two. So this is where it's a little weird. One, two, three, four, five, and you flip. Okay, so this is half chance for Minnesota. And we use second pile here on the half chance side. Okay. Clever chip into area header finds attacker in space, first time volley. So we have some different um, possibilities here, but basically it boils down to 11, 12 being a goal. Okay, so let's see what we get. We get a 
two and a five, which is a seven. So seven is a great save by the goalkeeper. So no score there for Minnesota. We're down to our last card of the half. And we get a two and a seven, which becomes a four, but that's still nothing. So that ends the game. So we had no scoring in the second half. And it's two nothing. Or two one rather. So Minnesota pulls off the victory, which makes sense if you look here on the, uh, well, actually, no, the, the Cosmos had a slightly better record in terms of points. They had 140 points. Minnesota had 137 points. But we played a neutral site game. Teams are pretty evenly matched, and, uh, and Minnesota pulls out the win. So as always, I appreciate you watching, uh, especially this somewhat guerrilla style video uh, shot here in my hotel room in Sao Paulo. Uh, thanks again for watching as usual. Please, uh, if you like the video, please like, share, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would consider doing so. So uh, without, without going any further, I would just like to say uh, thanks again for watching. As always, I am Joe. This has been Hexed Encountered on the Legend. Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say Legend Sport Channel, but we've rebranded. This is just Joe on Hexed, the Hexed Encountered channel. And this has been The Beautiful Game by Lamborn Games. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.